Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Take one more example. The question says if 1, 2, 4, y, x, 6 and 3, 5 are vertices of parallelogram taken in the order, we have to find the value of x and y. So let's draw the parallelogram A, B, C, D this side and the points are in the order so let's suppose this is 1 2 this is 4 y this is x 6 and this is 3 5 correct a b c now since they are parallelogram if you see the diagonals will meet at this point so let's the midpoint be o so O will be the midpoint of AC and O will also be midpoint of BD because this is a parallelogram we know that O is the midpoint of AC and O will also be the midpoint of BD. So we will find the midpoint of AC and we will find the midpoint of BD both will be same. So we will say midpoint of AC this will be A and C find the midpoint this is x this is 1 x plus 1 by 2 this is 6 this is 2 that is 6 plus 2 by 2 similarly midpoint of bd is equal to this is equal to 4 3 that is 4 plus 3 by 2 this is y we are talking about this point this is 5, so it is y plus 5 by 2. And both are equal. Both these points are equal actually. Both these points are O. Both are equal and both are equal to O. So we'll, we'll make them equal. So we can say that first thing is we, we are computing the x x part, we are making it 12. This becomes x plus 1 by 2 becomes 4 plus 3 by 2. 2 to cancel. So we'll get x is equal to 4 plus 3 minus 1, that is. 6. First part done. Since this is also equals, we will compute the y part. We will get 6 plus 2 by 2 is equal to y plus 5 by 2. Cancel. So we get y is equal to 6 plus 2 that is 8 minus 5 that is 3. So we got x and we got y. So this is nothing but x is 6 and this guy is nothing but correct. Thus we have found the value of x. Very simple. Since it is parallelogram, we know that the diagonals are midpoint of uh, the, the, the intersection point of diagonals are midpoint of AC and B. And with this information, we found the value of x and y. Let's take one more example. Find the coordinates of a point A where AB is the diameter of the circle whose center is 2 comma minus 3 and B is 1 comma. So let's have a draw a circle. This is a circle where AB is the diameter of the circle. This is a point center. AB is the diameter of the circle. So where B is given 1 comma 4, this point, and center is 2 comma minus 3. This is also given. We have to find the value of point A. And let this be x comma. We know that this point O is the midpoint of AB. Correct? We know that O A is midpoint of A B. So we can say that if you compute the x part, the midpoint of A B is nothing but x plus 1 by 2. x coordinate I am saying. x coordinate of midpoint of A B is nothing but x plus 1 by 2 and that is 2 given. So you get x is equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3. So you got x is equal to 3. Similarly, midpoint of a, B, the y coordinate is nothing but this is y, this is 4, y plus 4 by 2 and this value is minus 3 given, minus 3 or y is equal to minus 3 into 2 is minus 6, minus 4 that is minus 10. So y is equal to minus 10. So we got x and y. x and y is nothing but 3 comma minus 10 and these are the coordinates of point A and that is my answer. Very simple. 
you draw the diagram, you have this point B, you have point O, head to point A. And we, told, we know that O is the midpoint of A. We'll take one more example. The question says, if A and B are minus 2 minus 2 and 2 minus 4 respectively, find the coordinates of P such that AP is equal to 3 by 7 AP and P lines on the line segment AP. So let's first draw this A. This is A. This is B. This is minus 2 minus 2 and this is 2 comma minus 4. This is AB and there is a point P that lines lies on the line segment AB. This is point P and the question says that AP is equal to 3 by 7 AB. Correct. That is AP is equal to 3 by 7 AB or we can say that AP by AB is equal to 3 by 7. You know that what we have to find is AP by PB. So AB will break actually. We will break this. So what we will do? AB will write as AP by AB is nothing but AP plus PB is equal to 3 by 7. This is what we will write. Thus if you see the whole thing is in the form of AP and PB. We will take a reciprocal, we get AP plus PB by AP is equal to 7 by 3 or you get AP by AP plus PB by AP is equal to 7 by 3. This is 1 AP by AP. So we will get PB by AP actually. This this P, A, B, this P, this P is equal to 7 by 3 minus 1 and that is nothing but 4 by 3. So, P, B by A, P is 4 by 3, therefore, A, P by P, B is 3 by 5. This was the most difficult part actually. So, when we got A, P by P, B is equal to 3 by 4, our problem is solved. Then it is a normal question where the ratio is given and you have to find the value of point P. The logic here was AP by AB was given and then we found AP by AP by AB was given, we found AP by PB. We found AP by AB was 3 by 4. Now very simple, you take this point, you multiply with this, you take this, you multiply with this. So I will say P of X is nothing but 3 into 2, 3 into 2 plus 4 into minus 2, 4 into minus 2, divide by 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4, correct. So that comes out to be 6 minus 8 by 7, that is minus 2 by 7. Similarly, P of Y is nothing but 3 of minus 4, 3 into minus 4, plus 4 into minus 2, 4 into minus 2, by 3 plus 4, that is minus 12 minus 8 by 7 that is minus 20 by 7. So we have got this point P as minus 2 by 7 and minus 20 by 7 and that is our answer. Very simple. Let's take one more example. We have to find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining A minus 2 comma 2 B 2 comma 8 into 4 equal I will not solve this question, I will just tell you the approach how to solve this question. This is point A, this is point B, minus 2 comma 2 and this is 2 comma 8. 4 equal parts, so we will divide into 4 equal parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, all equal parts. If this length is k, this is k, this is k, all are k. And let this point be C, D and E with the points. So if you see this point C, C will divide this line segment A into K by 3K because this side, this left hand side is K and right hand side is 3K. So C will divide, C will divide in the form of K by 3K that is 1 by 3, right, 1 by 3. Similarly D, for D if you see this side 2K, this side 2K, so for D it will be 2K by 2K or you can say 1 by 1. For E, this side is 3K, this side is K. For E will be 3K by K. 
that is 3 is to 1. Right? So D is 1 is to 1 and E is 3 is to 1. So we have all this, we have these three points and we know the ratio in which it divides. Very simple now, we, for example, we take this point uh, C, for, if you want to find the value of point C, right, we will take this point A, this point B and B point C. You know the coordinates of the point A and B, 2 and minus, minus 2 and 2, for B we have 2 and 8 and for C we know the ratio is 1 is to 3. We can very well find the point C. We will take 3, we will multiply with this, we will take 1, we will multiply with this and we will cancel. Similarly for point D, same thing. This is minus 2, 2 and this is 2, 8, this is A, this is B and for D I know the ratio is 1 is to 1. So I will find it, this is the midpoint actually, we will find the value of D. Similarly for E also same thing we will do, this is A, this is B, B is 2 comma 8 and A is minus 2 comma minus, minus 2 comma plus 2 and we have this point E and the ratio with which it divides is 3 is to 1. I have this ratio. I have the points, I can find the value of point K. Very simple. Let's take one more example. Find the area of rhombus if the vertices are 3, 0, 4, 5, minus 1, 4, minus 1, minus, minus 2. Actually, this question is not for sectional formula. This question is only for the distance formula. So, in rhombus, we know if it's a rhombus actually. The diagonals are perpendicular, exactly perpendicular, A, B, C. Since the diagonals are perpendicular, you take the area is nothing but 1 by 2 into A, C into B, D. This is the area of the rhombus, 1 by 2 into product of diagonals. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. So we have to find 1 by 2 into AC into BD. So let's find this is AC. So AC is nothing but root of, I'm taking this and this. So 3 minus minus 1 square plus 0 and 4, 0 minus 4 square. So this becomes root of 4 square plus minus 4 square. That is root of 16 plus 16 that is 4 root correct let's find the value of bd bd is nothing but root of this and this point 4 and minus 2 that is 4 minus minus 2 square plus 5 and minus 1 so 5 minus minus 1 square so this becomes nothing but 6 square plus 6 square correct that is root of 36 plus 36 that is 36 root so we have a ac and we have bd so you can find the area area is nothing but 1 by 2 into ac into bd there is nothing but 1 by 2 into 4 root 2 into 36 root 2 root 2 root 2, root 2 cancel so this becomes 36 into 4, sorry this is 4, 4, 4, 16, 36 into 4, that is 24 and uh, unit is not given, so I say unit square and that is my answer, very simple, we just found AC and found BD. And we found the area to be 1 by 2 into AC2. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.